Hello guys. I believe that just based on the idea that my childhood was very uh, passive aggressive and I thought I was a ENFJ for W3 EIE but then I realized that ESTP could also fit because I like to move the world and I like to engage people in positive thinking at the same time sort of uh, have some form of capital profit off everything that I do. But that's not the important part. The important part is actually the childhood. That my friend in childhood was an ISTP, and I must have been ESTP. And that's why we got, got along really well. He used to, like, sit on the couch, maybe smell some weed a little bit, and trace me with the knife, with the kitchen knife. It would be fun. It was fun, psychotic and stuff, you know? Like, I, was, I just ran into the bathroom, locked the door, and he was scraping it with the knife. And I was like, yay, I survived. But, but, just, just thinking about it again. Now, if he were to catch me, I would just be, like, flirting a little bit and be like, oh, don't. Don't you do anything to me? <laughs> and then it was really funny. So yeah, that's that's something that I did it, when I was a kid. Now, um, a, a couple of other things was I got suspended from seven schools for like racism and 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 doing little petty things. Like I threw an eraser at the teacher because she said that um, I need to do reading buddies and I just didn't feel like it so I took an eraser and I threw it in her face and then I was dragged down and I was trying to hold on to the door frame as she tried to drag me down to the office possible possible things happen and uh, that's uh, another thing so yeah that stuff happened and you could when I was a kid I uh, I climbed a big I climbed a lot a, a high pole well, where basically, you know, you pull up your body, and I climbed it to like the fourth story ness, like it was the fourth floor, and after I I went and I put my hands and I crawled o crawled it uh, horizontally to the other side. So I risked my life as a kid, and I didn't listen to my parents because I thought my parents were condescending. I thought tradition was condescending because you know. People are placed in a box in tradition and everything is all about um, the idea that, you know, you should pay attention. You can't be as smart. Your ideas that are genius won't be valid. So therefore in school, I was sort of like Einstein when it came to that stuff because I went against the teachers. I went against the system. And the teacher was like, well, we have to follow the rules. If you don't follow the rules, you get bad marks. And I said... Well, do you know that mind maps expanded people's creativity in a general intellectual sense? They've improved the workforce in everybody's ability to, to be more efficient in what they're doing. And my teacher said, well, even though that is true, I'll tell you a secret that the mind maps were taken away. That's what she told me a long time ago because kids would be too smart and they'd repel the government. So I already knew that that, that stuff happens and that's how I kind of got into conspiracy theory. When I got into conspiracy theory, I looked at the US power grid system, at Margellan's disease, at polyphoria, and at different kinds of diseases to realize that, you know, the world is, is not uh, very stable and it needs help. So I decided to go and start helping the world a little bit. So that kind of led to the idea that, you know, we got everything working together. Uh, a picture is emerging. I am getting endowed in intellectual development. And yeah, that kind of really, you know, pushes the buttons to make people do fascinating things, I guess, maybe. And yes, that was me as a kid. At the same, yeah, I was very entertaining. I was the most popular kid in school, so I thought I was an ENFJ. God damn it, maybe, maybe I'm ESTP. Oh, forever. I don't know. And basically, there was this point where I was in class. I had a class clown, probably ENTP kind of guy. And he and I, we decided to, like, take a rock from the windowsill and push it down when the teacher was walking by and hope in hopes not to really hit her but I guess other people thought otherwise so thank god I just scared the shit out of her okay that's anyways that's horrible damn it I gotta I gotta think morally think morally okay and another thing is um I was an aggressive child I was not really accepting like when I was a kid 
I went to the synagogue and I prayed. I went to the mosque and I prayed in a Christian way. So I mixed things up. My first bad word was bad dicks. So any ESTP who can relate, that is that is what I did. You know, that's, that's how it was. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, usually, I guess, sometimes I would, like, lose cognition in my thoughts. I would, like, stutter between two different thoughts, between two different words, and then I would, uh, confuse myself at times. Not really. Not all the time. And, uh, uh, what really confused me right now is the idea that, you know what, we got, fucking, we got, uh, N-I-N-E, and we got S-E. An SE could work like NI or NE, so you would think that you're an intuitive person when you realize you're a sensor. And then when you realize that, you're like, oh crap, I am I am a sensor. And I thought I was using intuition. And then it really confuses the shit out of you. I'm sorry. God damn it, said it again. And that is it. Um, yeah, what do I think about Donald Trump as an ESTP? If I was an ESTP. Uh, I would say that he is rather, rather interesting. Sadistic, sad. Narcissistic, sad. Helpful, awesome. I think he will uh, make uh, Edward Snowden come back into the country because, you know, he will rule it perfectly. Except he realizes that the Congress... Um, won't, a, a, won't ever change the rules. They will, first of all, they will put books on probation for around like 10 years or so. So the laws wouldn't get passed. Things would be set on hold. And uh, Donald Trump and Pierre Elliott Trudeau, all those fantal, fascinating leaders, they don't get shit done. So that's that's one one of it. Uh, yeah, that's my intellectual side. Or not intellectual side, it's like this. I'm very, uh, when I was a kid, I was very, like, freaking bad in behavior, sort of. I have another video, actually, I'll just upload that one. So, anyways, um, I guess, I don't know if my NE and I is any more NE and I, so I just use SC now. And see the difference, and see what you guys think. Alright, tell me what you think in the description below. Damn. That sounded weird. I never did that. Holy shit. I think it. Anyways, odd, odd, odd. Just, just, just give me an analysis.